Nearly 1,600 people are expected to die of cancer every single day. So to say the fight against cancer continues is a huge understatement. Our next guests have both battled cancer and survived, and they're on the front lines uh, on the battle against cancer. Actress Lisa Vidal and two-time cancer survivor Carrie Togia uh, join us now. Nice to have you both here. Thank you. Those Thank are you. those kinds of statistics I know are alarming, uh, especially when you both have battled cancer and you continue to battle cancer. Tell me what it tells you. Does it frighten you? Does it make you want to fight more? Tell me what it tells you personally. For me, it gives me hope. It says that this is an alarming problem that people are going to pay attention to. They're going to donate much needed research dollars and that a cure is going to be found quickly because so many people are desperate for one. I just lost my father-in-law to cancer. It oh. was devastating, but he Sorry. managed to live three years beyond what his predictable uh, life expectancy was wow. and so the pain of that continues to linger with us as a family and it's it's one of those things where we we look to, to you for leadership we look to you for courage to continue the fight and Lisa you're, you've got this fantastic attitude about what you're doing tell me a little bit about your your struggle with cancer and how you plan to fight it well I consider myself super lucky um, because um, I found, well, my, my OBGYN found my cancer very early because it runs in my family. My sister was diagnosed two weeks before me. Wow. And my mother went through it and my mother's sister. So it runs in our family. And so I was very proactive about getting checked out and I would get mammograms and ultrasounds. Um, my doctor insisted on it. And so it was the ultrasound that he found it with. And I, I did not even go in because I felt anything or, or mm -hmm. saw anything. I went in for a normal kind of exam and there it was. And so we worked very quickly, moved very quickly to just, thank God it had not spread to my lymph nodes. I opted for double mastectomy. So did my sister, so did my mother, mm -hmm. her sister. So it was a quick decision. Um, but going through all of that at such an unbelievable speed and what I learned through the experience, um, I knew, I said, you know, nobody likes to get cancer, obviously, but I felt like God, God allowed this to happen to me because I need to use my platform to help other people. I need to talk about it. I need to talk about what's missing, what's not happening, um, what we need to do more of especially in my Latino community, very mm -hmm. important. I, I like to create awareness and early detection. That's what I advocate the most, and to celebrate these yeah. beautiful heroes like Carrie. Now, Carrie, let's talk about the, the party you're gonna have, because you mentioned something about research dollars. And research dollars don't come, you have to actually go out and ask people to, to, to give money, and those mm -hmm. of us who right. have gone through the experience are trying to do more and more to get research dollars brought into the researchers. Tell me how you're doing it. So I personally um, fundraise for the American Cancer Society um, through many avenues. Um, one is through their Relay for Life program, um, but the exciting upcoming event is the Invice Gala. It is going to be a super fun party next weekend. I'm going. I'm so excited. Um, we'll be there. I went last year. It was one of the best events I went to last year. Um, there, there will be plenty of dancing. There will be some amazing silent auction items. Um, a great opportunity for people to donate um, some much needed research dollars. And, and you said having having fun, but it's with a purpose. So, you know, if, if you can have fun and, and, and make a difference, it's important. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that, you know, that's a great way to get people to pay attention, right? Mm -hmm. um, just to, to make it enticing. It's, it's almost like, how do you get kids to study? Make it fun, <laughs> right? you know? Um, and I think that um, we, there's a lot of work to be done still, you know, a, a lot more, um, I think, avenues that need to be opened up for, for re research and options. And, and, you know, yes, I do believe in patients advocating for themselves, especially Carrie has an amazing story about that. But I feel like doctors should be more aware of ruling everything out, hmm. you know? Uh, I, I think that the block and the, the the wall that we come up against with insurance coverages, I mean, people are just, people are dying. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. it, that shouldn't be the 1600 option. 1,600 a day, that's an yeah. astounding it's number. It's astounding. Yeah. So the other thing is that, I, and I hear this a lot, and that is, it's really up to the patient to force the doctors to do things perhaps that they don't necessarily want to do. How, how active are you in your conversations with your physicians? I'm very active. I'm probably would, one of the most so. proactive people you, you will ever meet. Latina. <laughs> <laughs> 
Big no. Mouth. No, but I love guacamole. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, well, that qualifies. Um, I, I am uh, a very avid researcher um, on my own cancer, um, my own treatment plan. Um, I have not only one oncologist, I have two at, at two different major medical centers, um, and I utilize them both as my care team. Um, so I don't take a back seat at all. Wow. That sounds great. Well, if you want to participate in the, uh, is it an advice? Advice. Advice Gala 2019. Uh, we're going to put that up on beyond.tv for more information. Go to, which, uh, what's the website for the advice uh, Gala? Do you know it? Um, no. No, nope. <laughs> please insert link here. Right. Google right. it. That's your job. E N V I S E Gala. Yeah, yeah. check it out. If you online. Google N Vice Posh Prom, you will find it. Okay. Right. Fantastic. I'll be in, we'll be in our 80s attire. Great to have you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a whole nother yeah. discussion. And we're presenting to Fran Drescher, by the way. She's a real hero. That's and right. We're going to be supporting her uh, Cancer Schmancer uh, nonprofit organization, and all the proceeds from this will benefit American Cancer Society and, and Cancer Schmancer to raise money and create awareness, policy advocation, early detection. So we really need the support. Thank you both so much for being here, and we wish you the best of luck. Appreciate My pleasure. It. Appreciate Thank it. you.